right now, though, after it was such a success during lockdown, an online charity art auction in Wareham is to be repeated in time for Christmas. This time, the organisers are raising money for the Roots to Roots homeless charity and 41 artists and craft people from Purbeck are taking part with more than 300 lots up for auction. I'm going to talk about this for the next few minutes with a uh, cast of thousands on the line with me. We're going to start with uh, Malcolm Lewis, the organiser of this auction. Malcolm, good morning. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. And good morning, everyone else as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, Malcolm, tell me a bit about the uh, the background to this. So um, this is a, a tried and tested auction from, from the last time round. Well, yeah, yeah um, we've, we've done it the once so far uh, in June uh, this year during the last lockdown. Um, sucker for punishment. We thought, right, let's have another go at this. Um, it, as, as you said, it did raise quite a lot of money for various charities, uh, including the Dorset Community Coronavirus uh, Fund. Um, so we thought, right, here we go. And let's contact all the artists from last time and also get a few new ones. And... Uh, uh, Art Fraction 2 was born. <laughs> uh, the sequel. Uh, th th I mean, there's a pretty significant precedent for arty things there on the Purbex, isn't there? You've got a good heritage in this kind of area. Absolutely. There, there's a lot of fine galleries here um, and a lot of very good artists and craftspeople, uh, whether they've chosen this area for the sun to retire into or th there's a lot of uh, younger artists too as well. Um, it's probably like the south of France. It's the air and the climate. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Fiona Kelly uh, is the owner of the gallery there. I think Fiona's with us as well this morning. Morning, Fiona. Good morning. Um, and uh, well, g give me give me how you got involved in this. Did you go to Malcolm? Did Malcolm come to you with a pair of you a duo from years gone by? Um, well, we're both connected with the Chamber of Commerce. So we'd met through that, but Malcolm's the kind of driving force in the uh, auction department, which <laughs> has been most helpful for Purbeck. The previous uh, auction was organised really in conjunction with Purbeck Art Weeks, um, because obviously that had to be cancelled that year. Mm. And for quite a few of the local artists, it is one of the main um, areas where they get to see the public and they get commissions, which then keep them going for the year. So it was very sad that that had to be cancelled. Well, that's a lovely interface, isn't it, between yeah. members of the yeah. public and seeing artists at work in their gallery and, you know, there's Dorset Art Weeks as well. Yeah. So yeah. Across the whole so, so that, that uh, was the sort of grounding for the first auction. And as Malcolm said, it was successful. So here we go again. Um, which yes. is lovely, and it's a broader number of artists, so it should be very exciting for everybody to have a look at the website and see what they would like. Artforaction.co.uk is the address. Uh, oh, let's right. talk yeah. to some of the artists involved. We've got Fiona Kelly there, oh. also Graham and Cliff Towler, who've got art in the auction. Uh, morning, Graham and Cliff. Yes, Graham. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Let me, I, I wonder if I can just describe what's going on here. We've got a, a, a camera set up and there's a revolving cast going by in front of the screen. Um, All right. Morning, Graham. Uh, tell Good me morning. about the art that's in, in the auction from, from your, uh, your point of view. Uh, well, I've actually got some of my fine art prints that I've taken from the original acrylic paintings that I've done. Um, there's about five different subjects that I've got. Uh, they're very good quality fine art prints, printed onto a very good quality canvas, easy to fit up. And some of the areas are Kimmeridge, uh, Old Harry Rocks, uh, and um, uh, Irish Mill, uh, which are all favorite areas of mine. I used to do a lot of walking in this area. Now I, I paint the area rather than walk it. Um, <laughs> But it was that walking that I did when I was younger that inspired me to go into painting, although I've always painted all my life. Um, I started off life, like a lot of people who like art, as a graphic designer, which I more or less was doing all full time for half of my life, really. And then when I, early 2000s, I decided I would try and sell some paintings. I 
and it worked. Um, so it, it's just marvelous. I'm absolutely addicted to painting now. You can't stop me every day. So I've got to do some painting. Um, so it's great fun. And uh, hopefully I, I'll be able to keep going for it for a long time yet. Well, <laughs> so, it's all there on your doorstep, isn't it? So even if you uh, so right. to a point where you can't travel too far or like we did during lockdown one, then you can just sort of gaze out your window or take a look. Well, yeah, I mean, lockdown actually for me, although it's it's made things difficult, um, it's quite good because it gives me time to catch up. <laughs> I could actually spend my time catching up because there's no literally no interruptions. So I've been able to do a, both lockdowns. I, I've managed to do a lot of new paintings. So for me, that's good. Graham, uh, exit stage right, and let's move on to our, our next artist who's taking part in this uh, auction, artforaction.co.uk is where you'll find Thank it. You. And I think we've got uh, Sophia Lewis or Hilary Goodinge standing by to talk to us next. Coming in from one end, one end or another. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hello, Hilary. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. what, what art have you got in this auction? Well, I've got a couple of I've got a couple of pictures. I'm only the amateur, but um, you know we're we're all trying to help, and some of the uh, contributions will be sent to um, Roots for Roots, the homeless charity. But it's also going to go to St Martin's Church on the Walls, Wareham, which needs new heating. And I'm sure your listeners will know about uh, this church. It's where the effigy of Lawrence of Arabia is. And it's its, it's thousand year anniversary mm. this year. We were going to have a great big celebration, but um, due to the virus, we've had to do other creative things. And Martin Lewis has come up with this idea. So it's great for artists. It's great for the church. It's great to help homeless people. And it's a, a brilliant community project. I'm uh, looking at your Dorset Cliff as we speak. Fifty pounds is the price tag on that at the moment. The starting price on it. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking, Hilary, that I may end up um, being having my arm twisted by the wife to buy some of this stuff. You never. Oh, the the, the pictures here are brilliant in the in the creative gallery in Wareham. Yeah. Encourage everybody to come. Did I see Sophia lurking there or am I uh, mistaken? Right, Sophia's next, come yes. Come on, Sophia, jump in, because otherwise we're going to be late for the news and then Alan, Alan will tell me off. And j just finally, this is Sophia Lewis. What mm -hmm. what have you got in this auction? I've got some fine art prints of some dinosaur skeletons. Okay. Yeah. So inspired all... from living on the Jurassic Coast. Ah, I was going to say, so, yeah. so everything has to have a local connection. I think artists yeah. in... in the Purbecks have to do something. Yeah, it? you can't help but be inspired. when. You and how did it. you get roped into all of this? Uh, well, Malcolm's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that, so I got um, involved in. <laughs> that will do it. Well, look, it's lovely to see you all this morning. Thank you so much for coming on. Artforaction.co.uk if you'd like to uh, take part in that auction, which starts today. <laughs>